How did I make $2,000 from YouTube? <laughs> nearly fell off. Yes, the, the slightly clickbaity title might be correct. Look, here is my YouTube studio analytics. My views in 2020, $1,994. And if I click up here to the last 365 days, that's 2033, it was $2,000 in one year. I'm gonna show you how exactly I made $2,000 from YouTube in nine months. And I'm gonna show you everything, all my channel analytics, my revenue reports. I'm also gonna go through click-through rates. This is just an excuse for me to recap how 2020 went and what might happen for me in 2021. Thanks for coming along with the ride. Hello, I'm Neil Mossy. I'm a development producer, helping high achieving creators and performers just like you. Oh, left-handed one there. To get ideas out of our heads and out onto here on YouTube, to make the world happier. And I'm really hoping that statistics like this help encourage you to make more and become YouTube monetized. I know you can do it because I was not expecting this year to go like this in a good way. <laughs> so let's go full screen on my YouTube studio. I've clicked on the analytics tab. My goodness, right, so there's the views. Let's click on the revenue because that is the statistics that you want to follow. Well, the first obvious thing about this graph is that I was monetized in March, 2020. I remember it so vividly. And it took me four days to become properly monetized. I earned 14 cents on that day. I've made a whole video about how long it takes to become monetized and the link is in the description and I thought that I would continue to earn three or four dollars a day which I was very happy with. What I wasn't expecting is for it to go up like this to around the eight dollars mark in May. It fell back down again and that was because one video was driving most of my traffic. It was an old video uh, about Jean-Claude Van Damme <laughs> which I've now unlisted because I didn't have any other videos on Jean-Claude Van Damme and I want to niche this channel. But we had a good summer, no, five or six dollars a day, very happy. And then, whoa, it starts going up to 10 or 12 dollars a day. Now I'd like to think it's because my videos are so brilliant and so excellent. The algorithm just can't help but double my revenue. What I think it is, is that advertisers are starting the run into the Christmas and holiday season. The best day I got was 13 dollars. 76 at the end of November. So that's right at the peak of shopping and Black Friday. Predictably, it starts falling down again, all the way down to look at this sorry, sorry figure on <laughs> Christmas Eve of all things. You Scrooge. YouTube, you're a Scrooge. I'm your Bob Cratchit. Look, you paid me $5.85. Please, sir, can I have some more? <laughs> that's the wrong Dickens book. Uh, basically, now the revenue has plummeted. Now YouTube has finished with us for another holiday season. Let's dive into reach. These are my impressions. So these are my thumbnails that YouTube has shared. We've got that one viral video, an insane number of impressions there, but we've sort of fallen down to about 10,000 impressions a day. And my click-through rate has remained pretty consistent. Look at that, it's sort of around the 5% mark, which means that 5% of all thumbnails get clicked on. And if we take a closer look at my revenue, which let's face it, that's the only reason we watch these types of videos, isn't it? Now to do that, I'll click up here and I'll choose custom. When I was first monetized, this is March, I've got March in the corner there as a caption. My revenue per melee, or RPM or revenue per thousand. We, I still don't know why YouTube wants the Latin. I think they've chosen the Latin for this because RPM sounds cool. Sounds like revs per minute. <laughs> My revenue per thousand, look at it, it's 52 cents. Which sort of makes me think that when you become monetized, I think the algorithm tries to find commercials and adverts for your channel and it takes a bit of time to, to bed in. Let me know if you have been monetized recently, let me know if your RPM is really low to begin with. In April, my RPM, you can see it right there, it's, it's doubled, which means that I get $1 per thousand views. So if you're looking up how much money will I get from YouTube per 1000 views when I become monetized, this is my answer from the last 12 months. It's about $1.18 per thousand views. We'll change the caption to May and the RPM has doubled again. So we're now at $2.24. It stays around the same in June. So we're at $2.54 per thousand views. The view duration is about two minutes 40. 
and the click-through rate is about 5.2%. Now the RPM starts increasing. This is July, so we're over the $3, almost approaching $4 per thousand views. It's still increasing in August, $4.88 per 1,000 views. And a big leap in September, we're now up to $6.25 per 1,000 views. Now, I don't know if this is because of anything that I'm doing. I am becoming more specific. My videos are more about this, how to express yourself on YouTube. They're not bringing in that much traffic on these months. So it could be that my garden tools videos are, are bringing in a, a better class of YouTube viewer. Maybe the kind of people that advertisers want to reach on YouTube. Up yet another dollar in October to $7.38 per thousand. Right, so the, the RPM does not stop going up. It's going up and up. We're now at $8.71. This is really the push towards Christmas. And you can see, look at this highest payment ever of $13.76 happens on the very last day of November. And finally, December, we're at $8.44. So it is starting to drop and that's because Christmas is over. So the advertisers don't quite want to reach people. Look, that's, that's my RPM graph. You can see it really starting to fall. And if I compare that with the last 28 days, it, you can see it really plummeting now. This really is how YouTube creators face the, the falling CPM, which is what the advertisers pay. And if you want to see a really stark difference, let me show you the last seven days. The RPM is $5.90. I mean, it has really plummeted. And apparently this is something that happens each and every year. My dad's a taxi driver. He calls it the kipper season because that's all you can afford to eat in January and February. People just aren't spending money. Do you have any questions about YouTube analytics or the AdSense payments? Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your experiences and, and to actually see your YouTube channel as well. How close are you to becoming monetized and getting that 1,000 subscribers or 4,000 hours watch time? Because we need your stuff in the world. We need more people being happy watching YouTube. So please, plug your stuff in the comments and this is what YouTube thinks you should be watching next.